Well, what better person to talk about this than one of the government's independent economic advisors, Claudia Buch. Thanks for coming on the show. My first question to you is if you had any say in this actual document. No, <laughs> we are, no, we are independent advisors. So that means we are not political. So we can comment on what is in the in the coalition treaty, but we wouldn't be part of the production process. And what's your comment? Well, the comment is that, um, first of all, we are happy that we have a new government now, but um, many of the policies that are in the um, ag agreements are rather backward looking. So I would have hoped uh, for a more forward looking reform oriented approach. How are they backward looking? They're backward looking in the sense that um, we, I have the impression that we don't really trust markets. So we, there's a lot of um, um, elements where we basically um, restricting market forces to operate and um, the minimum wage is a um, case in point. On the minimum wage then, France thinks it's a great idea. They've already got one. They would like to see competition levelled out, I suppose, between the two countries. What about Germany, though? It's a different kettle of fish trying to introduce something like that here, isn't it? Yeah, so, yeah, definitely. I mean, we have different, very different labour markets, very different institutions, so it's difficult to um, transfer one experience from one country to another. I'm not sure France is a good example because we have seen problems in particular for low-skilled young workers to make it into the labour market, um, and that's one effect of the minimum wage, wage in France. Is it going to mean job losses here? I think so, yes. Um, I think nobody can give you the exact number because it very much depends on how firms, how um, workers adjust. But we will see um, losses of um, jobs and we will also see less flexibility for those who are particularly needed on the labour market. Between the different sectors as well? Yeah, it will be an issue for um, uh, locally produced services more than for exports. I don't think the German export sector will be harmed. It will be a problem for workers in the East. It will be a problem for low-skilled workers. So those are the weak um, um, spots on, on the labour market. Back to the coalition agreement. It sounds like Germany is dictating how Europe should be doing business. Well, I would uh, I would actually disagree with that yeah. with that statement because um, I think what um, uh, our European partners observe is that um, Germany seems to demand reforms from from other countries, but we don't really have this uh, reform oriented agenda here in Germany ourselves. So um, I think others would um, maybe want even more reforms in Germany. But can Germany's ideals be translated um, in, into success in different countries, in different European countries? Of course, every country is different, so we don't have this, this one-size-fit-all model for, for, model for all countries. Um, but there are certain um, uh, basic rules that I think apply for Europe as a whole. Um, and um, there are many things that we have already implemented into the institutional agenda for Europe.